about 80% of data loss today is based on human error inside the organization. Howard's exactly right. You know, I think what, what the- er Error meaning accident. Error it? meaning, you know, my, my friend, you know, my admin, Jim, brought his son in to be an intern for a week. He accidentally deleted a week's data. I then reached out to the vendor and asked to recover it. I wasn't able to recover it, and I, now that data is completely lost. We have to start over again. You know, I think a lot of times we overcomplicate what data loss actually means. Data loss is not just terrorists in China, although it is that. It's not just when the Boston Children's Hospital was hit by Iranian terrorists, although it is that. Data loss is very simply the idea that we have data silos now that are sprawling across our organization. So I always think about, you know, if you go 20, 30 years ago, my father was a CIO of a company, and, you know, his job wasn't that complicated. I wouldn't say that to him. But, you know, if you think about his data environment, it was like a six-sided dice. He had some data on-prem, maybe he had a mainframe, maybe they were experimenting with Salesforce. Well, now you go 10 years later, all of a sudden the average company has their data in 50 or 60 places. Today, the average mid-market company has their data in no less than 212 different silos. And if we can't recover end customer data quickly, then what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, we've actually let the ball drop. We've stopped helping our customers to protect themselves. And I think in the data protection space in particular, there has been a fascination with chasing TAM, because we need to raise money. You know, but I think what, what we ultimately all forgot is that there is an aggregate number of SaaS vendors out there that have to be protected. And until we protect all 17,000, until we create a safer space, these ransomware attacks are going to keep happening. Yeah, one of the problems with data security is, you know what data is? Data is like rabbits. Do you know why data is like rabbits? Because they multiply. Right? You, you have maybe one database soon, you have 15 databases soon, you have hundreds of databases. Um, so not every organization, in fact, <laughs> maybe uh, not a single organization would know all their data, where, where they are and what they are. So that's a big problem. Uh, inventory visibility is a big problem. Once you get that, then you have to say, how do I protect it? How do I give right authorization, access rights to both insiders and outsiders? And those are all problems. But if we don't even know um, what data we have and where they live, then it's a big problem. Mm -hmm.